Well, it seems climate change is to blame for everything these days. <laughs> This weekend, CBS Morning pushed a study blaming climate change for raising child obesity rates. The study claims that climate change, specifically warmer temperatures, is making our children more inactive and more obese. But wait, there's more. Check out these headlines. Oh. Climate change is to blame for flight cancellations. We were all wondering why flights were getting canceled. <laughs> for ruining friendships. Oh. For making your allergies worse and for a bad night's sleep. And for my daughter's iPad running out of battery, Emily, and for me losing the coffee top this morning, and for me being <laughs> logged up out of my Netflix account. All of that, climate change, now I know. Right, and then ironically, the recent Gallup poll had climate change not anywhere on the list of things that Americans care about deeply. Yes. Because of course, number one are things like inflation and in the economy and actually food. putting food on their table. Exactly. My favorite was this article written by um, this young person who said, sometimes I smile and nod as her friends tell her about their exciting excursions. She's like wishing I could relax and jump on a plane without feeling I was destroying my children's future. It sounds amazing and I simper while my brain runs its own internal monologue of, for God's sake, you just don't get it, do you? And I feel like that's exactly what I want to scream back because people have to work, actually. They have to get on a plane sometimes and go places for work. They have to run their lives. They don't have a luxury of maybe being able to walk to work. Everyone who lives in these urban environments where everything is like a click away don't realize that their actions have a huge impact and that the rest of us have normal lives we need to live that include gas and driving places. Exactly. And I think the question at this point is what is not climate change, Kennedy? Like what is not to blame? <laughs> yeah, and, and, and that's great. And sometimes it's just bad luck. Uh, but so if the world is ending, you know, let, let's take their, their premise as truth. The world's ending, we don't have long, then get on a plane and go see it. <laughs> Have fun, go do things. And these people, the, you know, the author of that article is like, we need a plant-based diet, only buy three new items of clothing a year, take one short haul flight every three years. It's like, yes, you eat the plants, I'll eat the steak on my plane as I'm going somewhere cool in my new clothes. More for me. Thank you. Yeah. I love that. Harris, yeah. Emily mentioned the top priority to American voters. Dude. Gallup has them. We, we'll put them up. Um, climate change isn't on there. It's not even in the top 11. I mean, you see inflation, economy. Climate change just isn't in there as the Democrats pass the climate bill. I hear every word you're saying, but I'm stuck on steak. On <laughs> steak? I know, I'm really hungry. Too. <laughs> Which the prices of yeah. all food items have gone up, particularly anything you might eat for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And I'm a southerner, so that's also steak. <laughs> um, you know, with this, though, I guess there just has to be a category of blame. Like, whatever happened to personal responsibility? If you don't want to take a plane, don't take a plane. If you think that not ever using plastic or washing your hands multiple times a day because you don't want to put soap into, you know, a, a clean water source or whatever the excuses are that potentially got us partly, partly in, in a prolonged pandemic because washing hands was on the list. If you don't want to use paper ever, 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 even though that might be a cleaner source and sharing a nasty towel in the bathroom with 50 people on a hand <laughs> towel, then you do you. As Kennedy said, I'm going to have some steak. <laughs> I like that. That's good. The noon hour especially. But Dr. Siegel, my favorite is the flight cancellations. Like, I, if you follow Kat Temp on Twitter, you see her complaints about the airlines. I love her feed because I feel that too when you're like plane number 22 in line for takeoff after waiting two hours. But now we know it's climate change, so that should make it all better. Well, we all got all that from Al Gore, by the way, who, who did, filmed his entire movie about climate change from airports, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so right. That, that, there we go with the hypocrisy again. But I want to focus wow. on something else. This is a smokescreen. You know why, Kaylee? This is covering up what is really causing the obesity rate to rise what is really causing all the sedentary behavior. It was written up in Lancet in a beautiful, art, a beautiful study. 
it's lack of mobility from the pandemic. It's all your lockdowns out there. It's all your shutdowns. Mm. It's all your school closures. Take away the nutrition program in schools and make people go to McDonald's. They're going to gain weight. All of that is what caused the, the weight gain problem, the obesity problem, it's not climate change, it's the excess policies of government shutting us down. Yeah, meanwhile, New AP poll today showed only half of Americans believe they even contribute to climate change. Have you heard of the factor? The new factor.